Now let's discuss about the database restore. There are many options to restore your database and as a DBA role concern, there are certain activities where you need to perform the database restore. For example, refresh your development database with production copy. Now let's discuss about the multiple option. The first option is point in time restore. Point in time restore is a self-service capability allowing you to restore your database from backup at any point of time. Point in time restore access your database backups depending on your retention period. And here the retention period is fixed 7 days for basic and 35 days for standard and premium tiers. In a point in time restore, you always create a new database. In Azure SQL, there is no option to overwrite your existing database while performing the restore activity. The second option is long term backups. So in the previous video, we see how to configure the long term retention backups and you can configure a long term retention backups up to 10 years. Now, if you want to restore a database, you can easily restore your database from long term backup. The third option is restore a deleted database. Now in Azure SQL, there is a facility where you can restore a deleted database within a retention period. It means that 7 days for basic and 35 days for standard and premium tier. The fourth option is Geo Restore. Geo Restore is very much important because there are certain cases where your database or your data center are inaccessible. At that time, you can request for the Geo Restore and you can restore your database in any Azure region. And the fourth is from backpack file. This option is available in Azure SQL database. In the demo section, we are going to implement each and every restore options. See you in the demo. And in this video, I will show you how to restore the database using backpack file, how to restore your production database in development server and how to restore a database in case of any uncertain delete or update. Now in the last video, we have taken a backpack file. Let's restore the backpack file into the local on-premises server. So for that, go to the SQL Server Management Studio and let me connect my local server. After that, go to the database folder, right click and deploy the data tire application, uh, sorry, import a data tire application. Select a next, select your backpack file, click a next button, select the next and click finish. So my database restore operation is completed. Let's quickly check. This is my local on-premises server where I am having a PRD dev database and this is my Azure database server. Let's compare the table list. Yes. So we have successfully restored your Azure SQL database to in on-premises server. Now in the second option is how to restore your production database in development server. Now your development server is in the Azure and you want to refresh your development database with production. For that, there are two options. Either you can go with Azure portal or you can go with the SQL script. I will show you both option. So this is my development server and this is my production server. Now I want to create a database in development server. So select the database, click a new query and type create database PRD dev local as a copy of give the server name right now. So our server name is PRD DB. So PRD DB dot database name. So our database name is PRD Dave. PRD Dave. And execute. So command execute successfully. Let's refresh the database folder. 
and here you can see my local database is available in Azure Development Server. Let's quickly check. So similarly, you can refresh your production database in your in the local development server. So now in the third option, let's say you want to restore the database using Azure portal in case of any uncertain delete or update. For that, go to the portal, go to the database, select the database that you want to restore and click the restore button. Here in the restore section, there is a two option. Either you go with the point in time restore or a long term backup retention. We have not configured the long term backup retention. That's why there is no database is available. If you go with the point in time restore here, you have a facility to choose the date and time that you want to restore and give the database na name here. Now, by default, you can't override the database. The database will create new and you want to rename it. So I go with this default database name and I go with the review and create. So now the deployment is started. Let's refresh the database folder. So deployment is in progress. Let's wait. So deployment is completed. Let's let's refresh the database folder. And here you can see the database is created. Now, if you want, then you can rename it or you can compare with the previous database. So all the tables are here. So in this video, we have see how to restore the database backpack file how to restore the production copy in a local server or, or Azure development server and how to restore the database in case of any uncertain delete and update from Azure portal. So please practice and if you have any doubt, then drop me an email. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.